A subsistence economy is an economy where there isn't a form of currency. You live by what you need rather than what you want. You hunt, fish, or farm to provide food for you and others. The cons of this is that what you need might not be available. You may hunt for food, but fail to catch anything. Or maybe your crops aren't growing. It is also just a low standard of living. If you get badly hurt or sick, chances are there won't be anyone who knows how to help. A pro is that this economy is less environmentally destructive. It does not rely on chemicals or fossil fuels, only on traditional ways. Bartering economy is another economy in which currency doesn't exist. It is the trades of goods and services. If you want or need something and someone else has it, you can trade an item or service in exchange for it. The cons of this is that it is hard to measure the value of one item over another, which could result in unfair trades. A pro of bartering is that there are no complexities. Everyone is on the same level. It is a simple system with no exploitation of natural resources, meaning it is also better for the environment. We most likely switched from subsistence to bartering because we want things that others have. And they didn't want to give it up unless they received something in exchange. A market economy is an economy where your needs and wants can be bought with currency. A pro of this is that if you need something, there is almost a certainty that it will be available for you to buy. Like if you need medication or food, it will probably be there. A con is that if you don't have money, you won't be able to get the things you want or need. While this economy created more employment, it also created poor working conditions. Also is far more damaging to the environment since a lot of it involves exploitation of natural resources. We switched to market because it was too difficult to decipher what items were a fair or unfair trade. Having a form of currency made it easier. But what would happen if our economy crashed? If our economy crashed tomorrow, there would be a global panic. People would spend less out of the fear of losing their job, which would cause companies to lay off more workers because they can't afford to keep them, which would cause workers to spend less because they might be laid off. And that cycle would continue. People would focus on what they need instead of what they want, Priorities would be food, water, and electricity, which in worst case scenario, may not be available. If your wants cost money, then they probably won't be available either. Like going to the movies. We stand just a little too close. We stare just a little too long. Spending time with friends and family would have to fill in for those wants. As for needs you just have to hope worst case scenario doesn't happen. 